Hello everybody, I'm Tone 300. Welcome back to Greg Tech New Horizons. So, in today's episode, I want to try and get the pyrolyzed oven. Uh, this is a large multi block and it'd be a big achievement. And yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Um, my reason for doing it now is basically I want to try and upgrade the power system. Um, last episode, we done the Canthor ingots, I believe it was. And after recording, I noticed my steam tank was completely empty and the batteries were almost drained and we'd only sort of made a few of the hot ingots. So we hadn't even done a lot and it drained all the power. So what I need to do is find an alternative power source because steam isn't going to cut it in the MV age. No, 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 no. So I'm going to go for benzene, I believe, which is in the bio for the masses tab. Um, we can then run on the gas turbines. So let's have a quick look. Then I can explain it a little bit better. Where are we? How to generate power? Yeah, so if we can go to, here we go, the Church of Benzene's Holy Altar. So, advanced gas turbine. It does cause a little bit of pollution, but I think we'll be able to work around that. Uh, the MV gas turbine pairs excellent with benzene. Now that you can actually make it, look at the bio for the masses tab for more details about of all about it. So basically it's renewable from trees. It's a powerful source of EU and can keep you going for several tiers as long as you upgrade it with new multiplocks you unlock over time. So it does sound like a good idea. Um, it says it's a good idea to switch off steam as well. And yeah, this is what I'm going to go for. But it, it tells us we need to make a pyrolyzed oven or, an adv or advanced coke ovens so to make our charcoal faster. So I'm going to go for this pyrolyzed oven. It's one I've had my eye on for a while. I have started to prep it and I'm just going to say wow what a load of materials it needs because it is really really expensive. So we need 66 pyrolyzed oven casings. Now as you can see well, that doesn't look too bad yeah but we need 66. So we've got steel plates, iron plates, bronze plate bricks and yeah, even if we go for the assembly the recipe, it's still the same. So I've worked out we need 264 steel plates, we need 132 iron plates, and we need 66 of these bronze plated bricks. So I've done a bit of recycling of all our old bronze pipes that we got rid of ages ago and upgraded to protein. And yeah, I'll just put them in the macerator, then smelted them back to ingots, and got all the plates we need. So, 66 bronze plated bricks needs 66 bricks and 396 bronze plates. Hence my recycling because that would have been a lot of ingots. So, we'll start with that. Um, we've then got to make the pyrolyzed oven itself. So, all fairly standard MV stuff. I I've got all of this, this isn't a problem at all. Um, we're then going to need, because if you click on this, or get the recipe up, which it's not doing at the moment. Left shift, that's what I want to do. So, controller front centre. Then we've got the 60 to 80 size pyrolyzed oven casings, heating coils, center 3x1x3 three by by three of the bottom layer, energy hatch, so we're going to need one of those, maintenance hatch, muffler hatch, input bus, input hatch, output bus, output hatch. So I've made up all the different hatches and buses and, the, and those parts. We just need to make the controller, the casings and the coils. And then we should be good to go. Now this has already taken me hours of work to get to this stage. And we haven't even made anything yet. So apart from the hatches. So we better get on with it, haven't we? Enough talking. Right. So plate-wise, I've been busy in here making all the plates. 
So, where should we start with? 264 steel plates, 64, 128. I think we're just slightly short, but we can quickly make some more. So that will finish off the steel plates. Iron plates, we needed 132, so... 128. That's the iron plates. So this 256. So we need another eight. Okay. And then we need the bronze plated bricks. So 396 bronze plates. That's going to be a lot. So let's start making these because bronze. So we're just going to put them in the assembler and get them underway. I think I said, yeah, 66 of these we need. Okay, we'll leave those being made in the assembler. Then we can get back to... Actually, you know, we need those to carry on. Right, so what else can we get on with while we're waiting? The pyrolyzed oven, we could make that. So, two pistons, a pump, some circuits. Okay. Did we need for that? We need an MV machine hole and the cupronickel wires. MV machine hole, so we need a casing. Oh, it's night time already. should remember how to make these but I have just come back from a holiday so I'm a little bit jet lagged and I'm trying to remember everything right that's also in the assembler or I mean it is cheaper in the assembler but the assembler is busy so we'll do it this way a couple of all iron plates aluminium plates I don't think I've got, have I got it set up anywhere. Honestly, can't remember. Oh, this one I accidentally broke, so all the recipes have reset. Okay, so I haven't set it up anyway, but we can soon do it. And just the two. Are these just copper wires? A couple of cables, sorry. Okay, so there's our machine hole. Let's 
Let's bookmark that recipe. Four times cuprinical wires. Uh, they're the two times. So wire mill program, I think it's program four. Yeah, of course it is. Two ingots, program four. Let's put this Cooper Nickel away. Now the assembly's gone quiet, that means it needs some more bronze plates. Okay, I think we've got everything we need to make it. Okay, there we go. So that's the pyrolyzed oven, which funnily enough completes the quest, although we've still got to do all the other parts, so I'm not going to accept it yet. Now is this going to be, this is an assembler recipe. There's no reason we can't use our MV assembler downstairs though, is there? Steel plates, iron plates and bronze plated bricks. Okay, so this was underway, that's good. Coil blocks we're going to need to make. So we need this, obviously there's two ways of doing it, we're just going to do the aluminosilicate wall, which uh, I did start making it somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Is that enough? How much do we need? So we've got to make nine of them. It's not enough. So we need some more quartzite dust. To mix with the ruby dust. It should be here. Okay, that's underway as well. This is such a massive recipe, I can't believe how much stuff we actually need. these 10 second recipes not too bad what's this one oh this is 60 seconds so that's going to take a while but while we're waiting we can start making these blocks i'm sure 
There it is, an assembler recipe with molten tin. So, molten tin, where have we got some of that? Um, I know we have some already set up with an assembler in here for the circuits. Yeah, we can't overly utilise that. Well, we could take the tin out, of course. Or how much we're going to need. waiting on recipes to complete aren't we two times cooper nickel wires uh, hang on eight of them per recipe eight times nine uh, eight times nine seventy two And I believe we've got one stack here, so I really thought I was ready for this, but there's always more stuff to make, isn't there? There we go. And we're using two per recipe, aren't we? Okay, so that'd be all the Cooper Nickel wires. So we just need to free up an assembler, basically. Let's take these downstairs. I suppose we could start using this one down here, it's quicker. Looks like I need a third assembling machine, one that's available anyway. So I'm thinking about putting the pyrolyzed oven here, basically because we, at the moment we've got steam nearby, we've got power nearby if we want to utilise these turbines, or we could just make some more to power it for now. Obviously eventually we're going to go to gas power. realised it's night time again but we'll need to get it up and running just to just to start producing the, the wood tar and stuff we need for the benzene Can we just take damage oh, I'm holding the molten tin aren't I so if we look on here we can see the actual structure so bottom layer we need the output bus the pyrolyzed oven itself 
the output hatch, the energy hatch and the maintenance hatch. The rest is all casings and the coils in the middle. Casings and hollow, casings and hollow. And then on the top, we have got input bus, input hatch and a muffler hatch. I don't think it matters as long as they're somewhere in these centre blocks. They possibly even work right on the edge, but I'll double check that before, before I do that. I might actually just put them in the middle anyway. So tier one, why don't we go to tier two? There's still ULV, what's changing? Oh, this is changing. But nothing else is... I suppose you choose what energy you want to put into it. I'm going to go for MV energy. But this is obviously upgrading the coils at the bottom. Oh, I don't know how far this goes. Oh, it just keeps going. It's still the eternal coil block, which is at tier 14. So I don't know if tier 14 is the highest, but it looks like it. There's a lot of upgrades to do. Bearing in mind, we're still on Cooper Nickel. We're just about touching Canthal. And yeah, I will be upgrading this to Canthal when I can, which won't be long. Speaking of Canthal, we've still only got one Canthal ingot. So we still have that quest to complete. That's something I do want to get on with. Should we have a little look at that? How's our steam doing? So we have we filled back up again, so we could make some more. I have made some more hot ingots, which we could go and cool them down. Just make sure everything's still working here. So we need some more bronze plates. We're going to take a little bit of damage while we do this. Yes, the molten tin as well as getting us. So, let's be quick here. So we need to get to this one, is it? The advanced chemical bath. I'll pop those in there. Let's hold on to this molten tin. I could empty it into the assembly machine, but I'm not sure which one I'm actually going to use. It probably will be this one. Let's take those out. We've got a nice speed boost at the moment. Right. So this is almost done. So almost done, it's still got another four cycles to do. And then we'll be able to make the remaining oven casings. Um, that's going okay. We've still got canthal dust, so we could make more canthal hot ingots. So the problem is if I leave too many in there it runs out of steam and let's just do let's 
I'll go for six. I don't want to go for too many because I don't want it to cancel out the recipe. Let's turn it back on. That was a good little hint somebody gave me. Um, yeah, instead of hitting it with a soft mallet, there is actually a power button to turn it on and off. Very, very useful. Let's put this canthal dust in here as well. But you'll see now we are draining. We can't produce the steam quick enough to keep up with what we're using. I mean, it kind of works, but I'll just have to wait for it to recharge all the time, which is a bit of a pain. Right, what are we waiting for? casings. Hopefully we're going to make the rest of our canthals. Well I think we needed 16 of these to complete the quest. I, mean, I could go straight for canthal coils on this but I'd rather upgrade the the EBF first. Just seems like it makes sense. I suppose whatever I've got left over, as in cooper nickel core blocks, I'll make use of anyway. So actually, we can make the cooper nickel core blocks downstairs. We just need all of those. I'm not sure we do need all of those, but we'll take them. Take that as well. All right, so the recipe was keep nickel wires as you what program is this on? I don't even think it needs a program. Yeah, maybe it does. Program three. Okay, so that's making our coil blocks. Oh, we need some more molten tin. going to need just a little bit more. We're definitely going to need some more of this alumino silicate ball. Taking quite a while to make. I 
Okay, so these are done. Quest complete, pyrolyze oven. Yeah, because we've already completed it. Unless there's another one in somewhere else. I don't think they are. Maybe in here. Ah. Okay, so we've made everything we need for the oven other than the coil blocks. I like the look of this reward. Okay, gigantic multi-block. Just having a quick read, see what it says. In essence, it's the original Greg Tech large-scale wood processor. It's a massive structure, probably bigger than any other multi you've built before. But it uses simple materials like bronze and steel. If you're able to just throw stacks of those at a controller, you can put this bare moth together and enjoy alternative to the advanced coke oven. There's some extra benefits. Unlike any of the ovens, this one runs on EU, so you need to route your power back here to process the wood you're feeding it. What makes the pyro available? The outputs of fluid alongside the charcoal, which you can process for extra power. Yeah, this is what I want to do. And or byproducts. Look at any ITC or the alternatives available to you. Okay, so there's... I'm mean, not going to read all of that now, but... There's a lot of alternatives, and once we get it up and running, we can upgrade it as well. Let's claim our loot bags. Are we feeling lucky? Mm, okay, not too bad. Some polyethylene, chest upgrade. There's some vacuum tubes. Um, let me just pop these in here to sort out later on. Bet they can go in there as well. Right, so how are we doing? Aluminosilicate wall. This is a very slow recipe. And I really want to get building this oven. Oh, you never know, we might just about have enough. I know we're just short, so... I think it needed eight, didn't it? So one more cycle, we should be good to go. We will need a little bit more molten tin. Oh, we needed 12. 12 and eight. So we need six more luminosilicate wool and a bit more molten tin. Let's go and get the tin ready. We're not far off doing this. And then we'll start building it, and by which time that should be done. See how much this has drained already? Where am I going? Molson tin. Let's eat some food and shall we start laying out where we're going to put this? So, hello, Mr. Squid is trying to come in. So, we're going to need wood as well. Um, 
These are all being fed basically from here, so there's a bonsai farm up above. Is it worth us coming all the way over here with the oven to be closer to the wood? Or I mean, we could have run it off LV power, but I'm trying to get away from LV. Steam is here, but we're not going to run on steam ultimately, are we? It might be worth us moving up this end. There's a bit more space as well. And... We do have an empty tank, although, no we don't, it's chlorine. Chlorine, oxygen, that might be handy. We've got space to put some tanks as well if we need to store anything. I think I'm going to put it here for now, and then... We may have to move it later, we might be able to leave it here, I don't know. So, one thing we do need is a way of getting rid of the fumes so it will cause pollution so I won't put it directly under the farm I just didn't want it right in the middle so one well, how much space we got a kind of sensor there Should we go for here? I don't know what, let's just build it, then we can always move it afterwards. Um, I want to leave a bit of space. I don't need to leave any space behind because there's a tunnel behind there. Oh, there should be a tunnel behind there. Okay, this will help us to power it and... Yeah, okay, that's fine. Just make sure it's not too dark down here, actually. Don't want any mobs spawning. So if I put an energy hatch at the back, Output bus, output hatch. It's showing the energy hatch there, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, we'll leave a space there for the energy hatch. So, that be coil blocks. Right, we really need to go and get all these other components, don't we? Because a lot of this is on the bottom layer. So we're going to have... All of that. We're probably going to need a battery buffer and the batteries. And that's us full up. Okay, energy hatch. I think I've got to turn you around.
Okay, pretty sure it goes that way. Right, on the front, we're going to have... Oh, this will be front centre. Then we need the... Where's it gone? Okay, we've got a maintenance hatch. Let's just skip the night. Oh, I don't have it in my inventory anymore, do I? Let's type in the pyro. So you've got output bus, output hatch. So that's going to output the items, that's going to output the fluids. Energy's on the back. So where do I want these? Do I want these on the front? I'm not so sure I do, you know. Uh, I might sort out this because I don't think we're going to use this down here. So let's put on this side. We could output. Um, it can be for the output bus. Then maybe here we'd have the output hatch for our fluids. And our maintenance hatch. I'm just going to put it next to the oven itself. Okay, so that's what we need on the bottom layer, other than the coils, which we're still waiting on. We know the next one is just the casings. And the next one is also just casings. And the top layer is casings and a muffler and the, the inputs. So the muffler I'm going to put in the middle. That's what I tend to do with these multi-blocks. Let's face that up. Now with the inputs. Hmm. Do I put them on top? We haven't actually checked, have we? So let's keep them on top. As in, in the centre on top. So I could put one either side. So input hatch, input bus, put those facing up. Okay, so this we just need our coils and then we can close it up. Looks like we've actually got one too many. So I've missed something somewhere. Hmm, don't think I have. Right, let's see if we can get our coils. We literally need one more. Yeah, we've definitely got enough of that now. Okay, there's our nine coil blocks. Now, what I should actually do is make a way of 
changing these later to upgrade them underneath. Yeah, I don't suppose it matters too much at the moment. Let's close it up. This should form. Oh, they did they just do something. It has problems. Okay, pipe is loose, screws are loose, something is stuck, plating's are dented, circuitry's burns out, that doesn't belong there. So we need to start using our tools in the maintenance hatch to fix it all. Click with tool to repair. Has that repaired anything? It did repair something. All right, what tools have we got here? So our soldering iron, which should, should repair the burnt circuitry. Uh, what have I just done? Redstone output at side fire set to strong. I did not want to do that. How do I even change that? Let's reset that. I don't like what I've just done. I'm sure I can click it again to change it, but... Okay, so it's probably going to need to repair everything all over again. Okay, that did something. Screws are loose, so that we need a screwdriver. Probably need a crowbar. Let's not click it with that again. So if something is stuck on plates. Platings are dented. Right, let's put everything else away. I wonder if the plunger does it. <laughs> I think it's going to need a hammer. I know that. I don't think a plunger is going to do anything. I'm just thinking something is stuck. I'm just going to get a hammer, maybe a file. Maybe the wrench again. Maybe it reset. Okay, let's take a a nearly broken file. Maybe a hammer. Well, definitely a hammer. Let's try that wrench again. Something is stuck. No? Should we try the crowbar again in case it didn't do anything? Um, I don't remember what this is. Something is stuck. Let's 
Let's see what other tools we've got. Unless it needs a soft mallet. Fire we've tried, hammer we've done. Wrench we've done. We haven't tried a soft mallet in there. Can't imagine it's a saw. I'll take it with us anyway. I'm just looking at what other tools I've got here. I mean, there's a knife, but it's not going to be a knife, is it? Crowbar would be the obvious one. Something is stuck. Okay, let's go and try the soft mallet. Ah, it was the soft mallet. Okay, so we can actually look. No, we can't turn it on because we don't have power to it yet, but that is our pyrolyzed oven formed. So we just need to give it some power, and we are good to use it. We've also got to set up an input, outputs. But yeah, that is the pyrolyzed oven. Um, what I do, I think we will stop this episode here, because it's going to take quite a while to set up power and inputs and outputs and stuff. But I'll get all that set up, and we'll cover it at the start of the next episode. So yeah, there you go, there is our pyrolyzed oven. And while we're here, let's go and check on our canthal ingots, because that would be good if that's completed. Yeah, we've got as far as three. We need to put more coolant in, which we should have done. Because that would have actually been completed by now, but... Okay. Hopefully when we come back next time, that will also be done, because there's still their 60 second recipes. So we don't want to wait around for that. So yeah, I think I'll leave it there. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this little episode on our Pyrolyzed Oven. And that is some good progress. Well, it will be once it's up and running. But yeah, it's there. It's ready to use, pretty much. Thanks again. Please do hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again soon for another episode. Bye for now.